So I get on the phone with Damon and tell him, yo, the tides are gonna be flooding high, so it's time to go chase some redfish. Baby, that's what we came for. We're gonna hit the road and fish South Carolina, but we don't have a boat. How are we gonna fish South Carolina with no boat, Eric? Tell me. So we're gonna go visit our friends at Ancona Boats and uh, try to weasel our way into taking a boat on the trip. We put a plan, a master plan together. So we stop in Fort Pierce to see what Mel's got going on, and he's got a brand new boat. It's called the Keikos. So we're like, Mel, we're gonna have to borrow this for a week. This is where we pick up the Cuban coffee. Mm -hmm. Not and we're like, uh, Mel, we're gonna hijack the new boat for a little bit. Yeah. Corona <laughs> pound. Yeah. Thank you, sir. As soon as we hit the road, we gotta be riding through a front. We just have to make sure that we stopped at the gas station to get some Snickers ice creams. We fuel up, we hit the road, and it starts pouring. I'm talking about pouring rain, we can barely see where we're going. We're driving through the rain, it's like a hurricane out there. As soon as we made it through this front, it's cleared up, beautiful day. Beautiful ride through the northern side of Florida and straight to South Carolina. And Jameson calls. And Jameson's like, yo, what up? So I'm talking to Estrada and he tells me they're coming up to fish the flood tides in South Carolina. And it's only like four hours south for me, so I just kind of invited myself. Jameson kind of just invites himself and he's like, where are we staying? And we're like, what do you mean where we're staying? We're staying at a hotel. He's like, that's not going to hold all of us. He already booked a hotel, but we can't all fit in there. I had him cancel his hotel, send him a link to a VRBO, and I hit the road. So we get to South Carolina. We unload all our stuff in the house. Compliments to Jameson. Carrie tells us where to meet him, so we jump back in the truck, head over to the ramp, and get out on the water. We see a boat coming around the corner, and sure enough, it's Jameson. I still wasn't even quite sure if he was actually gonna show up or if he was just messing around. I'm a little late, so I gotta book it to catch up with him on the water. But I know that they'll forgive my tardiness if I bring ice cold beverages. Jameson shows up a little bit late, but he's tossing beers to everyone. So after a few beers and the tide rising up a little bit, uh, we pull back up around the flat. Yeah. I was excited to catch up with the guys out on the water and just try to put these rods and reels to work. I was also excited to hook up with Kerry because I'm always seeing that he's out there just slaying fish in the grass and with a fly rod. That's something that I haven't done a whole lot of. I've just started fly fishing a little bit more lately, especially for redfish, and I haven't ever caught one in the grass. So I was excited for this trip. We're finally starting to see some fish, but we're racing the sun. The sun's going down, the tide's coming up, and the tails are rising. Carrie's like, hey, 10 o'clock, about 40 yards out, there's a redfish right there, make a cast to it. And boom, he ate it. First fish was on. We're starting to see tails popping everywhere, and we got this first fish. The sun's going down, and we still got a bit of a ride back to the marina. And luckily, we got that one fish before we got off the water. And that was it for day one, honestly. The sun just came down too fast on us. We always fish a specific area in Beaufort, but Carrie was like, I'm gonna show you guys some new waters this time. So we get in the truck, drive a couple hours, and we get to this new spot, and it is crazy looking. Day numero dos. Low tide sesh. There's an area that we usually fish when we fish with Carrie. It's the usual ramps that we go to. We usually know them, but this spot we pulled up, we're like, ah, this place is different. This place is new. 
We gear up, launch the boat, and we're on our way. We head out there and it's low tide and we're gonna go up some creeks and see if we can't find some fish staging to be able to move up on the flat as the tide comes up. So we get up into these little feeder creeks. Carrie's like, hey Jameson, you go that way. All right, Damien, Eric, you guys come this way. I get sent in one direction because the creeks are so small and the rest of the guys go the other way and I am just struggling to see fish. By the time I get to the shallow enough water to see the fish, it's so narrow I can't even get my boat through. So I'm a little bit stressed out about having this opportunity to be here and just not seeing the fish. I call them up and they're freaking slaying them. Work our way up the creek as far as we can and just like that, there's fish everywhere. We pull up to this bank and right behind the bank you see a bunch of redfish tipping and tailing and boom, Eric's got one. We just start plucking fish out. Boom, picture switch. He's up, sees him coming up behind the bank, drops a cast on him. Hooks up, gets the fish. It's a good fish. I was played, I was played. Let's send that guy down that creek because we don't want him around the fish. My turn, keep going at it as this tide is coming in. They sent me up the creek without a paddle, but they did. It was a good time. The low tide was a good session for sure. We probably caught like eight to 10 fish in a very short time and lost a few others into the grass. Once the tide started to come in, Carrie said, all right, it's time to go, and we gotta be at the other spot to fish the floods. The tide starts to come up, and we kind of rally together and get a plan to get up on this grass flat. We're just up there inching our way into the flat. As we're going across these flats, there's tails popping up, and I'm trying to get there, but I'm a little bit at a disadvantage. See him out here? Because I've got to transition from pulling my boat to picking up the fly rod and making that cast without floating on top of these fish. And we got a little bit of wind. He's having a tough time trying to cast at these fish, getting stuck on the grass. And Damien is like, yo, I'm going to take the shot. Well, Jameson, you're snagged. So, you know, I'm just going to have to take the shot. So I dropped it right in front of the fish, strip, fish on. Right in his face, boy. He just sniped Jameson's fish right from under him. And as we're coming across the flat, I see Damien just hook up right after running his mouth and trash talking. He's like, oh, he right in my mouth. Damien starts talking smack, and Jameson was furious. Took some pictures with it, got in the water, and then I'm like heckling. Jameson and messing with him because he's trying to get this hook out of the grass. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Hey, Jamie boy. Jamie boy, where you at? If you hang out with us, you're going to hear a lot of trash talking. That's what we do all the time. It just means that we love each other, really. That's all it is. Hey, what's your name? Jameson was pissed. I have to admit, I'm a little frustrated, but at this point, I'm like determined to get a fish, and I see some tails pop up past them, so I don't even stop to watch the show. I've seen Damien catch enough fish on this trip. Then it's my turn. Get on the bow, pull over to another fish, throw the gurgler in front of him, Strip, strip, fish eats, and I missed them. And that was that. That just seemed to be the rest of the day for us. I kept missing blow ups, I kept missing shots, I kept missing the hook sets, and we got nothing else for the rest of the day. 
they're over there doing their thing or whatever, and I got tails just everywhere in front of me. So I just, you know, mosey on a wave. So I sneak up on the flat, and I'm finally able to make it happen. Well, we could hear Jameson shouting in the background, and we're like, what is this guy screaming about? He must still be upset. After catching, like, the second fish, I start to tell him, like, you guys might want to come over here. There's tails everywhere. So they're not listening. They're, like, all over there doing their own thing. They don't think I know what I'm talking about. But I'm just waxing fish. You guys gonna come get me or what? I mean, I know it's windy, but come on. I'm still gonna try fish, though. 